Hey everybody, this is Buddy. I got a guy right here that we're going to be doing some video with and I want him to tell you who he is and what his company is and uh... What we do. Buddy, it's great to be on the channel with you and uh, we have a show called Ride It TV. We go all over the country riding power sports, four-wheelers, sea doos side-by-sides, spiders, motorcycles. We just got back from Sturgis doing a shoot with the Road Warriors, Wounded, wounded Soldiers. This organization helps them and this is the life we live. Well, cool. Well, we're going to do a collaboration, and over the next six months, I want to see your channel go up by 300,000 subscribers. That'd be awesome. And I want to show you some tips and tricks about YouTube and how, you know, it works with Google Plus and social media, and we're just going to actually have fun living the lifestyle, seeing what you guys do. But the, his videos will be on my channel, the series of it, and then there will be uh, extra features that you can see on my channel. But there will be a link in the box for his YouTube channel, his Facebook channel, and his uh, his company corporation channel. we got to get you out there riding this stuff, buddy. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Colton, you going to teach him? Mm, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'm Len Dingley, and this is my shop. Not only do we sell this product, but we live this life. You never know what we're going to be doing next or where we're going to be, but we're always having fun. I'm Brom Wilson. I produce this show. I try to get you all the great action shots without getting ran over. Together we are riding to Today on Ride TV, we are going to have a great time. We're taking you to the Ozark Mountains. It's going to be a blast. I just got here. I don't know what we're doing. I just got off the water. This weekend's going to be awesome. I've got a special surprise planned that everybody's going to have fun with. So Lynn's got the so-called surprise. That's never good. So what's this uh, surprise you're talking about? It's going to be an epic one. We're going to string up a zip line across the <laughs> canyon. You're kidding me. And use the side for sides to anchor it and go zip line. That sounds so dangerous. Zip line, huh? If Lynn tries it first and he doesn't die, I'll give it a try. I don't care. That's going to be so cool. So we're going to use the winch to, to pull it tight. Then, use huh? the winch to anchor it, put a side to side on each end, pull 9,000 pounds of table strength on it, and go zip line. <laughs> what could go wrong? Always trying to do two things at once, so on the way there, I'm going to drop off a UTV to my father-in-law and head on down. We're dropping off my father-in-law side by side oh. here in town, and we're rolling out. We're pulling two trailers because it's easier than trying to get it all on one. What are you doing? Oh my god! <laughs> One of the funnest part about these trips is being out here on the road. Brahm and I headed out for an adventure. The road trip getting there is sometimes more miles and smiles and laughs than anything else. It's, uh, it's always good to get out here, being out on the trails or whether we're on the street or taking sea dudes out or doing whatever crazy adventure we're up to. It's one of the highlights of the whole trip. Ryan McCormick is an old buddy of mine. He came into the store a few years back, bought some units from us. We became fast friends. Ryan is a great guy, very easy going, just up for anything. Gone out riding a few times with him now. He's a much more pleasant guy than Lynn, actually. Ryan's got this trail system set up behind his house. It's going to be perfect for zipline. We finally made it here after three and a half hours of travel, so they've already got the party started without us, so we'll get you guys up. I'm just glad to be out of the truck. Lynn's driving. <laughs> that was a little scary. How was it, Tiffany? It was long, and you drive fast. Did you guys go through? sure we 
forgot to tell Ryan about the surprise that uh, I noticed he's got a pool in his backyard. It's only a matter of time. It's going okay, but uh, we got to turn this into a righty TV party, so we're going to break out the zip line and get to play. Told ya. Pull it up. Pull it up. This is going to be so sketchy. Might want to back up. Get it. So we had to find the perfect height and uh, and a base and the trajectory and rate of fall. It's a very complicated mathematical equation that we have to figure out. Stretch a cable over a tree limb across the pool, hook it to the front of the commander's winch, stretch the winch tight. We have this uh, sophisticated zip lining apparatus that was uh, made from milled aircraft grade aluminum. I mean, it looks safe to me. It was two pulleys and a piece of steel we bought from a hardware store on the way there. Pick up the other one. Yeah, hang on, let's put this on there. What's your prediction? Give me a play-by-play. -play. I think he's gonna no, out. he's gonna take it out. He's gonna fall because he's not gonna be able to. Leave <laughs> <laughs> he's gotta hold on. So what you're saying is he doesn't have the upper body strength no! to make it down this far. <laughs> that, that's what I heard. Also on the zip line, we have a high-strength chromoly handlebar that uh, is rated for 500 pounds. Ryan had an old piece of steel hanging around. It worked. Well, you don't want to get your hands wet because it's slick. We didn't put the grips on it. But I could get some electric tape. It's going to work. I'm pretty excited. Side to side to get a little tighter. I have to back. Hey, really? what if we got a uh, strap and tie to do a tree or fence bump? Nobody else is volunteering. I'm your Huckleberry. Heel. That's how we do it, righty TV style. You're next. And the zip line worked flawlessly. I was actually really surprised. I mean, it really did work. <laughs> So last night we built our zip line. It was really sketchy. I had my doubts about it. It wasn't sketchy. <laughs> Nobody died. <laughs> so it works. Hey, it worked. And we're gonna get it out there on the big hills on the power line so we can really ramp this thing up. You test it first, bud. Yeah, and we're doing it without the little kiddie pool at the end too, like real men. Yeah. This might be our last episode. Could be. <laughs> We've been playing around all morning long. Now it's time to get you guys out on the trails and some side-by-sides and get this party started. Our main focus for today is finding the perfect spot for a zip line. We're gonna have to find two hills, kind of close together, and a nice big crevasse in between that's short enough to span the distance of the cable. It takes us all day long to find the right place to stretch this cable out. We're talking hundreds of square miles to find the right bluff to dive off on this cable. So let's get this straight. We're driving as far as we can out in the middle of nowhere to do something very dangerous where they're not gonna find us if we need help. That's just stupid. I feel like everybody 
everybody waits to do cool stuff until I don't have the cameras running. I pop up over the hill and Tiffany is nose down in the ditch. <laughs> Bob's always missing the really cool shots. I don't know how. What did you do? I want to film well, you with this. Cat stuff. <laughs> Trails over there, Tiffany. So, what was your uh, thoughts here? What? Uh, how'd you get in this predicament? Well, I saw Len go through it, so I but thought I, I could do it too, but I missed the though? trail by a little bit. And, um, I got stuck. Then I go to put a battery in the camera, and Lynn puts his Maverick on the side. Gosh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> No! <laughs> it takes me like, like... You didn't even get it? Roll it over! It was just a three wheel set on its side. I didn't even damage the paint. Good. <laughs> Pretty cool little ledges on the sides of the hills there. Take the opportunity to do what nobody else was doing and try them out. found a little bit of some technical stuff. Got a couple of sketchy bluffs behind us that have been going up and down. As long as you use the right amount of gas and brake, it doesn't come out too bad. But... Now that I have the cameras rolling, nothing cool is going to happen. But Tiffany's getting ready to go up a hill. Maybe she'll roll over or something. This was a pretty difficult hill to climb. Tiffany, still being a new rider, I jumped in the Maverick with her, was going to coach her how to do this. she doesn't know the difference between gas and brake. I'm riding up her hill on the Maverick and I'm like, hit the gas. She hits the brake and I'm like, gas. She gives it the gas. Why do we put so much effort into engineering the Can-Am Defender? Why do we equip it with tough Rotax engines featuring best-in-class torque? Why do we give it industry-leading towing and hauling capabilities? And why do we make it clever with versatile cargo solutions and much more? Because a job worth doing is worth doing right. Can-Am Defender. Tough. Capable. Clever. Get a three-year VRP limited warranty plus $500 in Defender accessories. If you're looking to play on the road, or off the road, or even in the water, Pitbull has you covered. We have a complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs, as well as Can-Am spiders and all the parts and accessories. With industry-leading performance, sea is the way to go when it comes to water sports. Come in today and see us at Pitbull Power Sports in Springfield, Missouri, 1332 North Glenstone. Come into Pitbull Power Sports. Live the life. Life comes with a turn signal. Use it. If you do, the black red carpet is rolled out for you. The road doesn't care where you're going or where you're from. It's a two-lane therapist, guru, Zen master, but you never really know when you're hermetically sealed in a sedan. So kick the doors off the nine to five, blow them off anything that keeps you stuck inside. It's time to be open to the wind the land, the sky, to stop wondering what's around the next corner 
and start finding yourself there. It's time to get in the spider lane, built for the open road. It's designed to leave the domesticated day in, day out behind. More stable than a motorcycle, more open to the life around you, and always open for what's ahead. Open your road. KM Spider. This was a pretty technical hill, and Tiffany was going to be going up, so I jumped in, the coach her through it. Problem is, it went way wrong. Yes, finally, something cool. I caught it. Tiffany. Gosh. Tiffany. One, two, three. Well, I do work in the yard. Run to it. Nice job. A little carnage back here. All good. <laughs> it's fixable. All in all, though, and a windshield clip. Oh, it's trash. There was a little bit of carnage, but uh, overall, not too bad. I gotta give her props. She went for it. Was that scary? Uh, we yeah, it was a little scary. Um, I'm glad Len told me to hold on to the steering wheel if anything happened, because I did that. Looks cool though, I hope. Oh, you don't want to do that, guys? How do you feel about the fact that we are not riding with you? Well, the thing is, um, before the end of the day, you're gonna get in there with me. Oh, uh, <laughs> hell no. I have to force you. <laughs> And we'll we're, we're going to go that. do that again. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. We'll find a different way I home. I won't roll it this time. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so, uh, after Tiffany's crash, I, uh, I thought this would be a good opportunity to uh, jump in Lens Maverick. I'll do it. Every time he's going to take my machine and go do the difficult stuff when his commander is sitting right over there the whole time. <laughs> $6,000 worth of cameras in my commander. Why would I use it to climb the hills? And even if I didn't, why risk my machine when the lens is sitting right there? <laughs> Tiffany, I'm proud of you. Thanks, that looked bro. awesome. Thank you. Um, you did a lot better than I did, but. I, I did make the rolling down the hill look quite You made quite it look nice. cooler, and I was yeah. in a four-seater. You attempted it in a two-seater, so I got to give you props. Well, do you want to ride with, and we'll try it again? Um, I got a camera to run, so go hit it again, and uh, I'll make sure I catch it. I, I think we got somebody to run the camera, though. After we patched Tiffany up, we got to looking around, and it was actually the perfect spot to do our zip line. And so Tiffany turned us over right here. I figured this would be a good spot as any to set up the zip line. And... The way the bluff just drops off right there and the fall and rate of the mathematical and the 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 setting of the zip line was pretty simple. We got a Maverick with a 4,500 pound winch on the bottom of the hill. Brom takes his commander to the top of the hill with a 4,500 pound winch. We string the cable out, set it up, and now we're ready to zip. I don't want to put it in there. You know how you're going to get to the other one. No way. That's a little 
better. Yeah, now it's not gonna. You just don't want the cable to break. Oh, God. Who's gonna catch it? We tried to take every precaution we could. We put uh, three people on the line just to make sure it'd hold that weight, because, uh, I mean, we don't mind hurting Lynn, but we don't want to kill him. That would be bad. All right, get down there and just hook Ride it TV style. <laughs> Trying to be as cautious as we can on this, so we're doing a couple of tests. First one didn't go quite right. We're gonna see what happens on the second one. We we'll keep checking our cable tensions. We need to elevate the upper end, maybe put a little bit of droop in this thing, and maybe we can get some more speed. Took a little while to get the first few test runs out of the way. We've got to find out that perfect drop by raising the top machine and lowering the bottom one. We had to get the angle a little higher, had to get the other machine pulled a little bit tighter. So that we have enough of that belly to get through and sail to the other side. There was some science in setting up the zip lines, but we got it figured out. I'm the only one trying this. I'll, try, I'll give you a try, okay. Let's see if this works. Next round here, can you try this? Yep. By the third time, we had it all figured out. It wasn't a fast zip line. It wasn't too slow. It just was right sliding off the canvas. This uh, science and art of zip lining, a lot more work than what we thought. What do you think, James? I think it was a great idea. We had a good time. Nobody got hurt. It's a little, pull him when he gets little slow starting, but we got it. Got all the kinks worked out, and I think it was worked out really well. Woohoo! We went fast, and it was fun. Zip lining off side by sides. We should have thought of this three years ago. Overall. Zip line and riding side to side through the Ozark Mountains is a great success. A couple of side to sides and some cable in the Ozark Mountains and some good friends it makes for a great time in the Ozark Mountains. And nobody died. Yeah, on camera anyways. The most important thing that you can take from today's episode is don't try this at home. No, you want to do this in a field, not, not, not at your house. We are professional idiots. He. We. He. We. He. We. He. he.